School dinners? Nostalgia? No? Well, you won't need these gonads in your life then. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Off World Cookery. Today I'm going to be cooking some delicious fish fingers with potatoes, peas, and some carrots on the side. Fuck off. I'm going to be making a good old British school breakfast. Bacon sandwich. Challenging. Right, let's get cooking. Let's get lighting the fire. Today, the pair of complete chefs would be cooking up a pile reminiscent of their old school dinners. And rather fittingly, lighting their fire in the style of schoolboys the world over. And with the combustion of rectal gas successful, Paul began food preparation. The bacon sandwich. Not really a school snack at all, but still fucking important, like etiquette. Post guzzle, their pan would soon snuggle up with bacon. Blessed fruit of the pig. And in no time, Paul was garnishing with a spot of white people's pleasure. Mayonnaise! Out it comes. Ready, with less effort than Highlander the series. Chomp, chomp, chew. No wonder there aren't any ladies in these videos. What could set you better for a school day? Furious masturbation? Thumbs up and me. And after such an articulate display of alphabetic acrobatics, the men got busy with the main. Well, of course, everyone knows that potatoes are the most stubborn vegetable going, so we put them on first so we can get them nice and tender for the mash. Once boiling, the potatoes soon gave way to fucking carrots, but... These carrots are different. Boiled in orange juice, not from concentrate, with a splash of butter, like mummy used to make. Let's peel some peas. Ah, peas! Picking peas out of their pods wasn't difficult, like bath time at the Houstons, and pretty soon, fish was afoot. Your school was as shit as mine was. It probably had fish fingers for every meal. So that's what we're making today, and I'm just gonna get the fish ready now. To make fish fingers, Chico sliced up cod loin, which comes from the fish's cock. He then beat off some eggs until he had a nice yellow bath in which to dip the fish, helping the breadcrumbs to stick like sex allegations on a Cosby. Right, so the, the carrots and the potatoes are ready. I'm just gonna take them off the fire. With a sprig of mint in the peas, the fish fingers were added to the pan. <laughs> Staring at their slowly crisping fish cocks, the men were in need of a little break. Half past 10 every morning, milk break. We can't have the students getting tired. <laughs> milk break! <laughs> milk break! Yeah! My milk is different. To make a white Russian, simply go online and find a proper recipe so it's not completely fucked like this is. Then add pocket ice. Yeah, that's milk time. And what a great time it was too. Like tennis or coming. Or playing tennis while coming. Right, now it's time to mash the potatoes! Hooray! Chico added cream and butter to the pan, and then squashed the fuck out of it. Yum yum. He then served up the other shit. Meanwhile, Paul prepared a traditional British school beverage. Lager, fueling the nation of tomorrow. Dinner! Dinner bell! Fucking barn out the teat! Fish fingers, mashed potato, peas and carrots. A delicious outdoor achievement by anyone's standards, except for those of actual chefs or people online. 
What's your opinion of it, little boy? The mash is creamy as fuck. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Not at all like a real school experience. It just takes me right back when I'm eating this stuff. Except we had to do it in silence. If we talked, we were beaten and told the first of all. Ah, Catholic school, eh? Never mind, with such a tasty triumph under their belt and the wind wandering through the trees like an escaped retard, the young fuckers felt inspired to try something more technical. Ah, uh, the old school oven. Essential for making rainbow sponge cake, along with flour, sugar, baking soda, butter, eggs, broken like the Arctic. Right, now somebody's mixed that shit up. Chico beat the mixture like a Minnesota dentist, then separated prior to adding food colouring. This would create three different tones running throughout the cake, and thus the rainbow effect, if it didn't get completely fucked in the process. Red. Yellow. Green. So before we put it in there, we want to give it one swirl. So you get all those different colours all over the cake. Just like a real rainbow, minus the greedy Irish dwarves. Shove it in, lock it up, then what? Thermometer. Quite. And as the cake baked, an important science experiment was in order. What's he making? Looks educational. seems to be organic. Oh, it's a drugs machine. What an unconstitutional abuse of science. No wonder Sir disapproves. This beats milk time. Being high was always better than milk. And soon, there was cake as well. Right, so the cake should be ready. Just gonna have a little look. Por favor, oven gloves, idiot. Ah, uh, just gonna leave it there to rest for about 10 minutes while we cook the custard. As the custard warmed, Chico examined his magnificence. Fucking cake. Fucking right, and only a decoration of masterful grandeur would befit such a prize. A crudely iced ejaculating member. We're back to Catholic schools again. A full proper cake, baked entirely outdoors by fuckwits, successfully proving every professional TV chef can suck my seasoned cock and balls. It's good. I've managed to get a good rise on it. it tastes good. Nice texture. The rainbow bit didn't work at all, but it's it's good. I'm, up. I'm happy. Paul was, however, distinctly unimpressed. I'm distinctly unimpressed by the lack of rainbow colouring in this cake. That offends me! Sir versus the boy! I'll teach you a lesson, young man. Fuck you, sir. Round one. Fight! Through the mastery of knowledge, I have prevailed! Round two, fight! It's easy to win conquers when you're me. Final round, fight! All that knowledge and still thick as fuck. Indeed. So until next time, asswads, fuck off.